issues. So bloop, here we go. Um, thank you. So first of all, I honestly truly want to thank you guys for being energetic and ambitious around this. You know, we've never had our bold launches this early. So we all kind of decided as a group, we're like, look, we're not going to push them. We're not going to get in their face. And she's like, when can we start? So I know. <laughs> I'm I am so into it you don't even know so I'm very very excited so my goal today is to get us in a place where you guys know the plan and you decide if you want to start anything major now or if you want to wait till after mega camp I, I know that mega camp can be kind of a crazy week or two um, and yet at least you'll have the plan and what I was sharing with Peyton earlier is I, I know that probably all of you, well, actually, I know all of you have been involved on some level in a bold launch, whether it was attending or helping launch, whatever. Um, I don't know all the things and bold is my baby. And I have a foolproof plan and it's a simple plan that will allow you guys to have the biggest, best bold that you've ever had and potentially have it sold out before I ever walk in the door. And most of the things that I'm going to ask you to do are going to be things that fit in with your roles anyway. So it's not really additional work. It's more just a little tweak here and there. So is that okay? Absolutely. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to run through kind of the main parts of the plan. I have a couple supplemental things. And then I'll take some questions. And then I'll give you guys some kind of tips and tricks of traps to not fall into. And, uh, and then I'll answer any other questions and we'll get you along your day. So we have three main pieces to launch an awesome packed bold, okay? The first thing is me getting in front of your ALC. Now, again, that doesn't need to happen immediately, especially if they're all going to mega camp and yet early-ish on, I wanna get in front of your ALC. The reality, I I'm 18 years with this company. I I've, I've been around the KW block multiple times. I'm also a former team leader, so I've sat in leadership and I know your jobs are crazy and I love you and I know it's nuts. Um, we, we rise or fall with the ALC. If they are all in, what I notice, and I think that most ALC members don't actually realize it that much, and yet the agents watch them like a hawk especially the mighty middle and the newer agents like those are rock stars and if they're all in on this bold which they should be because the market's changing and so is the industry if they're all in on this bold you will have a much easier time getting the rest of your market center in um and kristen i think you told me that your alc tends to be pretty supportive of bold in the first place right Correct. did i make that up yes okay cool um, so I want to get in front of them and it can be your regular ALC meeting or it can be a standalone. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and what I'll do is ideally, if you have enough time, I'll spend a little bit of time actually giving them some value. I, I don't like popping into meetings and just being like, Bold's amazing. You need to sign up. I'm out. I, I, yeah. I don't find that works really well. So I like to come in and either teach something or even just ask powerful questions, get them thinking and then go into bold um, so I'll add value and the goal will be at that ALC meeting that they also take a piece of paper out in a pen and register for the class early so that you can say in sincerity to your entire agent body, like, Hey, ALC's all in, mm -hmm. you guys should all be fighting to sign up right now. Um, so number one is that number two is me coming into a team meeting and truly doing a bold team meeting. And what I mean is a lot of times well-meaning overworked leadership will say like, yeah, come, you know, it's Tuesday at one. I got like five minutes for you. And I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not going to work. It doesn't work. So the bold team meeting is like, you probably have room for 15 to 20 minutes of like your normal every meeting, like updates, classes, whatever. Um, and then the rest of it really needs to be devoted to bold. And if we do it that way, you'll get like half of your registrations at that meeting. Um, if we don't do it that way, you'll get like two and it's just not super impactful. It's very womp womp. Um, we'll talk when we get closer about the bold team meeting. And yeah, I'll give you the basics because it's not that difficult. Basically, you know, Kristen, you're going to, and of course I know you're already putting the word out and yet you're going to announce the bold at the team meeting. You're going to do it with ridiculous. What is she on energy? Um, because they will follow your lead. I, it's, I've had team leaders before being like, so we've got bold coming. And I'm like, you've instantly lost the room. Yeah. Like you've, you've got to be excited about it. You're going to introduce bold and maybe introduce me. And then you're going to go right into a bold panel. And by panel, I mean, two people is plenty. 
Mm -hmm. um, maybe three, nothing more. We're only going to ask them a few questions to keep things moving. And the idea is that anyone who's going to be on your bold panel is taking this bold because there's nothing worse than them telling their amazing story and being like, well, I'm fitting this one out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great to have one really great like production story, like somebody went to bold and doubled their production or sold this much or made this much, whatever. It's also great to have one if you have somebody that has a more personal life side story. You know, the reality is I've seen people fix their marriages in bold. I have seen people get out of debt in bold, stuff like that. So if there's, so think about that. Um, and then after the, uh, after the panel, then you would bring me in and I will come in and I'm gonna do, I've got like a 15 minute spiel of, teaching them something, getting them thinking, showing them they have a gap without saying you have a gap, um, telling them my bold story briefly, because um, it's the best one that I can tell because it's mine. Um, and then I go in and we start to close. And the idea is we have people signing up in the room. We don't use links because people like to just tap on their phone. So it looks like they're signing up. We're gonna use paper registrations. My assistant will process them. It doesn't need to be a big job for you guys. Um, and then ideally, and it's good that you're, we're talking about it early, you should have a prize wall. You should be giving anybody who registers that day, there should be purple balloons with little pieces of paper inside and they win what's in the balloon. And you can go to your vendor. You don't need to spend a lot. And so, a lot of them can be small. I mean, you can put lottery tickets in there for all I care, but it's just the whole FOMO thing. So, uh, so that's kind of the bold team meeting. And the reason it takes the most of the meeting is the end part. Like we have to wait for people to fill things out. Um, yeah. Again, way cart before the horse. And yet I'll say it now, like it's great to make sure that somebody on leadership has a computer set up in the room because they're, they're all, nobody's going to know their Keller Williams ID, stuff like that. Um, so that's the bold team meeting. All right, and the third thing is you are going to work your roster like I know you're supposed to and maybe do and maybe don't anyways. Um, we're supposed to be giving care calls to our roster, right? Big part of the job. We're going to do that. And that's not all Kristen. That, in my opinion, it's your office. It should be truly all hands on deck. And you mm. guys decide how you break things down. You know, Kristen, maybe you're top 10%, top 20%, and then it goes up however you want to do it. Um, and the idea is that you will actually print out um, the roster and use kind of like a green, yellow, red system. Greens are for people that are like, yeah, sign me up. Here's my credit card. Um, yellow is a no now but very clearly somebody who either you know should be in the room or you know just gave you a soft no you could tell um red is the handful of people that are in your market center that probably say you know if you ask me to go to bold one more time i'm leaving and i'm going to you know coldwell banker like it i don't want you to piss people off and you know we got to realize that we don't always get a no the first time and that doesn't mean that or yes the first time and that doesn't mean that the no is final um so so that's that is the main pieces like all this like you could send out a million emails if you want to it's supplemental and it doesn't really matter if you do those three things and we if we do them effectively you, you guys will pack the room and you will nail your goal and your goal is ambitious for a single market center bold and i also believe you can do it i'm just saying so like as long as we follow that play we'll be good so before I go into kind of some of the supplemental pieces of the plan, those are the three major things. Do we have any questions around that? Uh, do you have your calendar so I can give you the dates that we were thinking? Do I have my key? You're my best friend. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up right on my phone. Um, tell me what you're thinking. Um, for the ALC meeting, 821, August 21st, okay. we have it scheduled for one o'clock. So I will be in the air headed to a bold at that time. So we can do one of two things. We can set a different time and meet separately if you think they're open to that, or I can fully record what I'm going to do anyways, because I do run on a I, on repeat. Um, so you let me know what you'd like me to do. I just, I am in the air at that time. I have a flight that leaves at like 1245. You can do a, we can do a different time um what dates of the or days of the week work better for you and i can kind of corral them well so well first idea if you think it's not going to make them crazy is if we just made their 
monthly meeting earlier in the day that month, I could do it. Mm -hmm. Like if we, like if you could bump it all the way up to 10 AM, that way it's not gross early for them. That would still, I live pretty close to my airport. So it wouldn't be a big deal for me to jump on. So I would say that would be option one. Option two is this bold cycle. I can make Mondays, Tuesdays, or Fridays work. Wednesdays are my travel. Thursdays are when I'm teaching. Okay. Let's I will get, I'll get back to you. The only so thing yeah, let me know. No yeah. rush. Okay. You were going to say something else. Sorry. The only thing is. Um, we just, our ALC is pretty small. And so one of the members can't get here until after 12. So I just want okay. to accommodate her. Um, I don't want to miss anybody then. So yeah, let's just do it on a different day. And whether that means you move your meeting or we do a separate meeting, it doesn't matter to me. Just let me know. Okay. Um, so cool. Let me know about that. And then do you want to look at team meeting already? Yeah. So that, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be a problem. So our team meetings are every Wednesday from 1130 until That's so exciting okay so here's my uh, kind of thing so ideally i was looking to do it after you have met with the alc because we want to be able to have alc members i love that yeah so the well, idea is either the 28th <laughs> of august or we can go into the first week of september Ooh, you know okay so fun fact if we go to the first week of september I'm still traveling that day, but my flight changed. So my I don't leave until 2.15. So if we do September 4th, I can do it. Okay. What do you guys think on that? I think it's great. And I will not be in the office that day. Oh, poopy. No. Yeah, you got to be there. I got to so, be there. So here's what I... Hear me out. I have had just as much success when the play is followed and I'm not live. So I think we can do any of the dates. I will still record exactly what I do and I will still make it because I ask them questions and I'm just going to ask it in the video and pause. Like it will, <laughs> it will be just as interactive. They'll just be interacting with a video. Um, as long as you're all in, which I already know that you are because we're meeting early. So like, I think we should do it on a day that you're going to be there. And here's the fun thing. If you still want me to jump in on the fourth and maybe like teach something for a few minutes, yeah. I'm happy to do it. I think for the big rollout though, it's so important that you're in the room because this is your baby. Yeah, I agree. So, okay. So I will record something well before your meeting um, and I will send it to you and then we can we can jump on a call or what we will make sure we touch base again before so you know exactly what to do and you will nail it and you'll get so many registrations you'll be like i didn't even need that guy yeah. um so that's cool so perfect so let me know on alc and then i will send a video for your regular meeting beautiful any other questions about that stuff okay i don't Cool. So let me go into kind of those three things are like, you know, think of it like you you talk with your agents about lead generation. Nothing really matters if they're not having the one on one conversations. Those three things are the one on one conversations. They have to happen. And yet there's some cool supplemental things that will make the lifting easier for you. OK, first one is you've all heard it before. I don't know if you do it. I would guess you do since your OP is like married to a bold coach like go to the dollar store and throw up purple on your office. It yeah. makes it impossible for people to not know what's happening and it creates conversation. Yeah. So, and you'll especially want it done when you do the team meeting. Um, and yet as soon as you want to, it doesn't matter to me, like spend 20 or 40 bucks. It goes a long way. If you go to the dollar store and just every purple thing that you can find go nuts, you probably already have some stuff. Um, so paint the office purple because it creates conversations so I think it's great for you to use your social media and and I think I probably don't have to say this to this crowd and just to be safe I'm going to don't don't fool yourself that social media is going to do it social media just helps create the FOMO and supplements everything else so like for me I would say best practice is every time somebody registers I would make a post about it and also I would probably put their picture up like I would have a bold wall somewhere wherever your high traffic area is 
just start creating that FOMO um, and you'll do super, super well. Anybody influential, if they want to make a 60 second video, those are great to share, um, you know, why they signed up for Bold or why they're doing it again, stuff like that. Um, so social media is great. Just don't let it be your driver. And um, and I kind of already said this, just every time somebody registers, make a big deal about it. Like, and you can have a system for that. Um, my, my assistant already sent out... Um, a tool for you guys called Bob. Did you see it? I think it was either early this week yeah. or last week. Yes or no? Yes, I think I did. Okay, or cool. Talking about it. I got to go look. Yeah, yeah. So it's, there's a million things in there. It's a toolkit resource for bold. You don't have to use everything. And in fact, you don't have to use anything. And yet they've got lots of templates. So you guys don't need to go and create things. So just check that out, poke around. That might be a great tech trainer thing to do. Like just see what you want to use out of there and don't feel like we're asking you to do everything. Um, and then the last thing I'll kind of give you is just, just some tips or some reminders. Like as far as talking to people and getting those no's, you guys have all been with Keller Williams long enough that you've probably been taught the decision continuum. The decision continuum's real. Don't, again, unless they're like super upset and they're like, bold's the devil, leave me alone. Like it, it don't take their first no. And and honestly, guys, on a, on a, I care a lot about you guys and what I do note, your agents are vulnerable right now. And that's going to get more vulnerable because when things get tougher, agents start looking for greener grass. And, and I'm finding it in my current bold launch, like, you're going to have to stand up to some people or stand up for them actually is what I should say. And, and what I'll say to that is if, if, when you know that an agent needs this, when you know that they're down year over year, they're nowhere close to their goals, you know, they're going through a struggle and they're like, no, both not for me, or it's not the time, or I don't have the money or whatever it is. Uh, if you're not going to stand up for them and continue to push at them and they happen to find some other broker in town that will, they're going to go. So I don't say that to be like a jerk. I don't wish it on you. I'm just saying like, keep in mind that not every no is a real no. And not every yes is a real yes. So the, the next tip is when you get a yes, you register them. I know it's annoying and you have a million things to do. And also it takes like two minutes. Like you register them. If they're in front of you and you have rapport, ask for their credit card and do it and take it back to their office when they're done. Um, have paper registrations around. My assistant can send those to you. You can ask for them anytime. Um, if you're on the phone with somebody, you could still do it and have them read you the credit card. We all know, I say this is still a producing agent. Agents are the worst about procrastination. They're telling you they're going to sign up. They're probably not actively lying, and yet it doesn't mean they're actually going to sign up. So just do it for them. Your numbers will thank you. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. You are going to get, and then the last thing is, and I think you all know this, you're going to get um, two sets of discount codes, okay? You're going to get leadership discount codes, which are still, it's half price, so it's $3.99, um, those are such low hanging fruit, by the way. So any leadership and like if you have PC coaches or anything, they all count any leadership, you might as well register them early because it only bolsters your numbers and kind of helps you with moment momentum. Um, once those codes come out, I should say, and then you're also going to get recruit discount codes, you're going to get 10 of them. And this time around, if you had more than 10 recruits, what I what they've been doing is they've been allowing more codes. Um, I don't want to promise that. I'm just telling you that's what's been happening. Uh, so you have at least 10 recruits that you can send for $199 and they can pay or you can pay. What I will tell you as a best practice is even if you want them to pay, I would register them and then have them reimburse somehow because the recruit code literally has the word recruit in it. And I don't think that looks good to people. Um, really good. Another, yeah. So just, I, I, I don't know if you guys would be, you know, some market centers pay no matter what, if you don't, I would find a way to still pay and get reimbursed the, um, and make sure like here's what will happen to like if you have somebody that's gonna join you for sure and you want to sign them up at the discount you have to sign them up before they have been processed into the system the the minute they show up awri is going to kick it back and say register them at full price so now once they're already registered you can sign them up the next day for kw and 
Keller Williams will not penalize you. So just keep it in mind because I've had leaders before promise it at 199 and then they sign up and it becomes a thing. Um, so you're going to get those codes. And seriously, we've got about an 80% conversion rate of non-KW folks that are in the room. So like, forget the discount code. Look, we our record for recruits was last year. It was in uh, Connecticut. We had 23 recruits in the room and 17 joined Keller Williams. So like, go ham on it. You have so much time to build that. Um, and it works great. And it's honestly kind of great for the bold because you start to get different perspectives and it really creates some good conversation in the room as well to have other people. And I, it's hard to make bold not Keller Williams and that, and I, I am very mindful of having guests in the room and I will not ever make them feel alienated and I will never come off recruiting to them so they don't get ticked at you. Yeah. Um, How many so that's the bulk of it. How many leaders? Um, leaderships, I think they give you four. And at the same same deal, like if you need, have more than four, I'm pretty sure I can just ask for extra codes and they're not going to say no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and like the codes are not going to be out this early. They probably won't come out until our August bolds take off, which is over the next couple of weeks. And yet when they come out, I would just get it done early if you already know who's going to go. Um, the regular, you know, you already have a registration link for the regular registrations, though, so that you can have people now. And I would say I know it's super early now. If somebody tells you they want to sign up, I, I would just say, like, great, let's take care of that right now and just get it done. Um that's really all I have. There's a million other things that we could do. And if you choose to, it's fine. If we focus on everything we talked about today, you're going to kill it. All right. And so the last thing I'll say, and I, it's, I'm, I'm going to assume you got the hint. I'm very, every bold coach is a little different. I am not a first step launcher. Like first step registrations don't exist right now. I mean, they do. You can use them if you want. And yet we are going for full bold. When we have a hundred people to convert at first step. It is a stressful first step and not just for me, it's stressful for you guys because you got to help convert like, cause I'm one person. So when we focus on full bold, like yeah. my, my, what, what I will normally do is we are going to pretend first step doesn't exist until we're like a week or two out. And then we can cram in free ones because anyone will say yes to free. So right now we're going to focus on full and the goal is like, let's just walk in at or super close to goal and just have a few more to pick off in the room. So what questions do you have for me? Because I feel like I just vomited a bunch of stuff. What questions do you have for me? Um, Just because this is my first time around with the planning, how do we know when someone registers? Do we get a notification? Like, how do we know this? So you will, so you will start to get emails at some point daily. They're not, again, usually, I think because it's so early, until like August is like up and running and we're not chasing people. So I'm going to guess somewhere right around, right before or right after Mega Camp is when we'll be able to start sending those. Um, my, I don't, I'll have to ask my assistant. I don't even think she has access to see who's registered yet. Um, okay. The agents receive, if somebody registers, they will receive a confirmation instantly. Um, right. You guys don't. And yet what will happen is once we get closer, you're going to get an email once a day and it's going to tell you what your numbers are. And there'll be a couple of links below that you can click on and they're live links and they will show you everyone registered for first step and everyone registered for full um, all their information, the date they registered, all that stuff. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll send you some dates for team meeting and ALC. Yeah. Um, and, and then, uh, any other questions though? No, I don't think so. I'll just go and like, <coughs> say me. yet again, you did such a great, a great job with our top 20, that top Thank 20. Thank you. I loved that. So I, I I know that just by sharing you with our agents, it's going to be, I, I know we have our part in our role, but dude, you're good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And yeah. I, and I'm happy to jump in. I mean, we have to talk schedule and all that. Like if you want me to teach more classes, zoom in, here's what I want you to know. And and you have to allow me to prove it because it's one of those things that anybody can say, like, I view this as a partnership 100%. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to have your back. 
you're having conversations with an agent and you know they need to be there and you can't get them over the hump, send me a text, send me an email. I will call them. I will close them. You have a team in the office and you really think the whole team should be there. You can't really get them there. They want to meet me first. Connect me. I can zoom into, excuse me, I can zoom into their weekly team meeting if they have one. Like whatever it is, you let me know what you need. If you want a specific video, like I use me, abuse me goodness knows that it happens to you you do it to me as well i'm a partner in this and i want us all to be like hugging and high-fiving at step seven because it was everything you wanted it to be so let me know how i can help and don't be shy to ask okay all right fantastic all right in front of a team so i, I thank you for that 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 made me think of okay cool yep okay and then as you're you know at, people ask about the coach i think you can tell them anything about me that you want. I think one thing that is always important for like kind of glass half empty people, they want to know if the coach still sells and I am still in active production. So I okay. think it's, in, if you have somebody ask that, I, I feel like a lot of people, especially the producing agents, you know, there's that mentality that, you know, the coaches are just agents that can't hack it anymore. Like I'm still hacking it. I just prefer coaching. So this is what I do most of the time. So I'm still in production. I still lead a team. We're, a, we're an MREA team. We have been for the last five years running with no falters. Um, so just feel free to share that. If you have anybody that's kind of like, well, this guy really know what he's doing. So. <laughs> okay. That sounds All good. All right. Okay, I will send out this recording. So if you have any other support staff, if you want to share it with them, because really, especially with like the the care calls and all that, it's an all hands on deck situation. So I'll send out this recording, share it with anybody. Let me know if there's anyone else on your staff that I should ever meet with or that maybe isn't used to being on the phone and wants to role play. Like, let me know how I can help there. Okay. Perfect. Amazing. Thank you so much. All right. You guys are great. I'm so excited to partner with you. I have to. All right. Have a great one. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.